Hey there, everybody. I'm here with uh, Chloe in the game, and I thought I'd give you a little, you know, a little different uh, episode of Chloe and the Professor today. Uh, what I want to talk about a little bit is some things that have been going on in the gaming industry, and the reason why I'm bringing you a slightly different show today is because my ISP decided to blow up this weekend, and you know they had they had an outage, so they're they're, they were working on it. It's back up now, but the software I used to create Chloe and the Professor required an internet connection. So I decided to do a little something different this time. We'll go back to our regular show next week. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is, you know, two, two things that have been happening in the gaming industry recently. And one of them... I'm not going to go into the full details of exactly what it is that happened because that's been done to death. But at, that's the whole CSGO gambling thing. As gamers, that sort of thing really doesn't help us when stuff like that happens. And it, and it was done by people who themselves were gamers. We're under attack enough as it is from irrational people with knee-jerk reactions to video games thinking that oh they make us violent they turn us into killers you know video games make our kids serial killers and all that blah 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 that's been debunked a million times it's not so many times it's not funny but it really doesn't help our cause and it doesn't help us defend ourselves when something like this whole CSGO gambling thing takes place. Every controversy which could be avoided harms the gaming community as a whole. And it's, it's not good for us. It's really not. It makes it harder for us to defend ourselves. I wanted to get that out there so that people understand, you know, where I'm coming from on this that we really don't need this sort of thing happening. Now, we haven't been as under attack recently as we have been in the past, but there are people out there who still have that mentality that video games are bad, video games are evil, and all this is going to do is just add more fuel to that fire. Because... You know, I know these kinds of people. They have irrational fears. They don't want to play, place blame where it really belongs in the system, the way our world is, the way it's run. They don't want to place blame there. They want an easy scapegoat that they can attack. And video games are an easy scapegoat for them. And... You know, a lot of people play games in order to blow off Steam so that they don't blow up anywhere else. And when they don't get to blow off that Steam, when they don't get to vent that anger, to vent it in a way that doesn't hurt anyone else, that's when people go out and become violent and shoot up a school. Or shoot a bunch of cops in Dallas but you know moving on from that I also did an episode on the Oculus Rift in Glowing the Professor well I have an update on what's going on with that uh, basically basically the gaming community is really pissed off and there are people that are you know, abandoning Oculus. Truly. There are gamers who are out there canceling their Oculus Rift orders and they're going over to the HTC Vive. Not to say that the Oculus Rift is a bad headset. It's just that they are... They're taking their money elsewhere. Which is not good for Oculus. Now, I'm not saying that the Oculus Rift is better than the HTC Vive, 
there are merits to either headset one. You know, there are merits to either headset. But Oculus did sort of bring this on themselves. They made a promise that they would not do the things that they had done. They wouldn't try to lock people into, you know, DRM. They wouldn't try to um, prevent people from playing, you know, Oculus Rift games with other headsets. And they went against that. Now, there are people who would say, you know, Oculus is within their rights to do that which is true but on the flip side they did make a very public promise that they would never do that and they did anyway so they're uh, paying the consequences for that action there's a mass exodus of people away from the rift and as I said in the episode VR is in its infancy and if there's a very real chance that VR could become, you know, that VR could become another fad, just like motion controls. Let's face it, that was a fad. The Kinect died very quickly, and there's all indications that the um, next Nintendo system, the NX, would be moving away from motion controls. In fact, they've moved away from motion controls with the... Um, the Wii U with that um, touch gamepad. Anyway, anyway, that's happening. You have mass exodus of people away from the Oculus, people canceling their orders for the Oculus Rift. <coughs> Those are two major events in the in the gaming industry that I wanted to talk about. So next week we'll go back to our regular episode of Glowing the Professor. I promise. All right. See ya.